Okay, so every year, Apple comes out with a new iPhone and they come up with their own leather casings. Typically anywhere from the range of 80 to 100 bucks for an Apple leather case, depending on where you pick it up and what time you pick it up at. But I've been rocking with Mujo for a long time, at least five years to six years now, and they have not disappointed. This is their slim design, full grain leather, MagSafe casing for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And today we're gonna open it up and we're gonna be checking it out. So let's go. All right, so this year, this case comes in a bunch of different colors. Um, I'm still waiting on that orange. So if y'all wanna do the, the, the collab and we get the average tech orange out there, let me know. But we have leather casings. Now, they do have a really nice blue one I saw on their website that I really liked as well. But I always go with the standard brown casing, uh, or this one is actually tan on the packaging. So we got a slim design, full grain, vegetable tan leather. So this is a full leather case, no vegan leather, things like that. MagSafe compatible. And then on the back, it just tells you everything about the casing itself. Um, one of the biggest things is number one, MagSafe capabilities. You do get the logo in here, which is very nice, very classy. And you do get a microfiber lining. Also, you get nice machine buttons on the side and you get the contrast of the machine buttons as well as the camera protection around the back as well. More like a bronzy color. We'll put all this stuff to the side and let us go ahead and get that weight out of the way because we like the way these cases and make sure it's not going to be too heavy. We're looking at 1.4 ounces on this case right here. So what I'm going to do is drop in, drop in, and that is what we get. Now the contrast of the tan leather with my phone color looks really nice, really classy, classic look. This is not plugged up to anything, but we do have MagSafe capabilities, very strong, no issues there. Um, for people who want to see it charge, of course, you know, you, you got those certain ones that like to see it charge. So we'll just find a power adapter and we'll just plug up. There we go. Got charging on deck. No problem, no issue, and no worries. On the back, protection around that camera. Nice machine buttons are tactile as well, and I love the contrast of the button on that tan leather. On the front, you do get a raised bezel. So, now I'm not a big fan of just dropping leather cases because these, I feel, are like premium devices, but I will drop it this one time just to show you that it's all case all the time. Your screen will not crack. And I do have a tempered glass screen protector on there. No issues to that screen protector. It doesn't bubble up in the corners with this case on there or anything. Everything down bottom matches up, lines up, and looks really good. Ultra wide hole for our different types of USB type C cables. Everything looks good, feels good and I have no issue with it. Now, the next thing I do wanna do is just run over to the side and grab a few um, accessories. So I got a few accessories here, um, just to make sure everything is on the up and up. Third party accessories will work with it. And third party accessory does work with it. So no issue out of third party accessories either. I'm gonna drop a link below. You can go by and check this case out for yourself. And with Mujo, you are going to be paying about a fourth less of what you would pay getting an Apple leather casing. So just go by and check them out. They have some really good deals and that has been it. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace. Angel.